Hi everyone! Hi guys! So, we are here once again to talk about a disbandment or a member that's leaving. It's just like, a lot has been going on this year. Jeez, 2016. We've always liked 4-Minute, but we've never been like die-hard 4-Minute fans mm -hmm. and like know everything about all the members and things like that. But the reason why I feel the need to make this video is because, one, there's been some interesting updates and two feel like four minute is one of those groups that everyone just knew and like when you first got into k-pop especially if you're like have been in k-pop five years or four years mm -hmm. like us like four minute was one of the most popular groups basically what happened is their contract expired june 14th so it's been expired by now and no one renewed except for hyana i just was like happy for everyone because yeah. i'm like they gave seven years of their life to this group. That's a long time, first of all. I felt like, woo, it's finally time for all the other girls to like branch out and mm -hmm. do whatever they want to do. Like they could go back to school. I feel like it would be like a really new, exciting chapter in your life when you've been like tied to a contract and tied to a group for like seven years and you've done that and you're like, we accomplished a lot, we did a lot, but now I can like, do whatever I want. Yeah. Like the world is literally at my fingertips. Obviously after a certain point it was pretty much just like all about Hyanna. But in the same sense even though when they 4 minute did have a comeback it wasn't a Hyanna show. Like that's the thing that I can say. It wasn't like Hyanna has every single line and then... She's always on the screen. Yeah. Like, it wasn't just the main focus wasn't her. It was still like a group. I always felt like the reason why they worked out so well still, and I feel like there was no really like issues between them because even though I didn't really know a lot about the group, I always felt like the girls were so close. Because being in a group like that and then the popularity difference mm -hmm. being like so extreme, it wouldn't really work unless you're close because it just gets awkward, honestly. Like, there's no way to beat around the bush. And it's not just saying, oh, it's only four minutes. It's literally, like, with any group. Like, it's just going to be awkward. Speaking of closeness, I guess, I don't know if the closeness was, like, false or if it was just this brought this on mm -hmm. that the other members unfollowed Hina on Instagram, but they didn't unfollow each other. It's like you're making a point. When you do something like that, you're not just trying to, you know, this just happened, the news kind of just came out. Mm -hmm. It's only been happening for a few days. So people are watching and looking and seeing what's going on. So to do that and all, all of them do it and not unfollow each other, that's saying something. In the same sense though, Kiana unfollowed all of them months ago. When a contract is about to be up, it's not like they, they only talk to you like, well, it's June 14th bring them in the office let's yeah. make a decision like they pretty much know what they're gonna do probably months in advance she obviously already knew that she was gonna resign if she's working on new music new su summer comeback she's been working on that for a few months now a lot to blame is Q because mm -hmm. I was Tiana obviously I would resign but if I was any of the other members I wouldn't even want to stay with the company because I'm like I could resign but then what am I gonna do sit in their dungeon Four Minute has had two Yoon and like they've all done like different stuff here and there. Like I mean I don't like fully know like everything that each member has done. Mm -hmm. Ga Yoon and Ji Hyun have aspirations for acting. Ji Yoon is leaning towards singing and producing and she's looking for an agency that will support her. So Hyun is currently on a variety program, My Pet Laboratory. I feel like when you talk about everything, when you really think about it, I still don't really know how to like piece it all together. Mm -hmm. Obviously Cube is a huge part to blame yeah. for this because they didn't even make it so a group would want to re-sign with them. If I was in a group and all my other members made an Instagram, I honestly, just the way I am, I wouldn't follow them because it just causes too much. Yeah. Because you can follow them, but then it's like when something goes wrong and then you want to unfollow them or just some shit really goes down, yeah. it just like causes too much. And then people watch it like all the time. Like you could follow a hundred people and then you unfollow someone. Some fan is going to go and try to see who you just unfollowed mm -hmm. because they want to know, did you unfollow a member? Especially Instagram. Instagram's more personal in a way and people start to act like if you're not following someone on social media literally means whether you're friends or not and that's just not true let us know what you think about four minute disbandment is there some drama going on is there not like what's really going on whether you're a hardcore four minute fan mm -hmm. or if you're just 
a casual fan and you respect them and what they did as a group, let us know because it's a lot. Woo! And on that note. On that note. We'll see you guys later. Bye.